Hello everyone, I just thought I'd do a video on my Mini. Okay, I'm going to start from the front. Um, the major thing, new front valance here. Um, it's quite a, quite a serious panel that. Um, and repair down there, as you can see. A uh, new headlight ring as well. Um, it's been mixed there. Um, but yeah, it's quite a good fit. It was, uh, it was only it was about £100, I think, so it wasn't too bad for a whole panel like that. Um, other side as well, this is the original uh, headlight ring. You get another panel prepared there. Uh, and around the edge there as well. Um, we are getting a sandblaster soon, hopefully. So, uh, things like this where brake fluid has leaked and stripped the paint off and it's gone rusty. Things like that, hopefully we can um, remove all the rust there. If not, then we're going to have to get a new panel al along there, but I highly doubt that because it's quite, quite a thick, substantial panel and it's not too, too rusty. Um, what else? Um, yeah, the scuttle was actually quite good. It, it's, it's sort of usually, I mean, they sort of you see them going around here and at the top, and you know, usually there's bits of filler and stuff like that. But this is all good. I mean, the wings and all that lot, they're all really good. And you know, again, the wheel arches as well, they're all good. It, it must have been garage for most of its life because it is. It just you know, so much of it is so good, which is I've, uh, you know, I've been very lucky with that. Um, I'll right, just come down here, so this uh, A panel here has been replaced. See the word along there, it all needs filling. Um, yeah, that's quite a good, a good job. Um, all this along here, I think along there, along... I think it went along there actually, and up, all along there. That's all been, all been replaced. Um, panel down there as well, been replaced, part of the framework in there. Uh, in the floor pan, quite a lot done on the floor pan. I've uh, welded in a new panel there. Um, another panel on there as well. Um, and on the other side as well, similar thing. New panel there uh, in the corner there as well. Uh, that was already there, that one, but it's all right. Quite a good job, so I won't, won't redo it. No, I'll just turn the light on because it's quite dark in here, right? Um, fluorescent, ah, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, it seems to work, so. Uh, repair panel there. Obviously it's a bit like this because they welded it from the other side. Uh, but that's alright, that's fine. Um, new panel there, that was done from this side. Got a bit to do there, but it'll probably be easy from the other side to do that. So I think I'll wait until we turn it on its side again to sandblast it. Um, in here as well, new panels all along. Um, it's a bit of big things grinding off, but uh, that was again done from the other side. Um, but yeah, again, most of this is all really good condition. Um, as you can see, I mean, you know, the, the back, the rear floor pans, I've had to do nothing at all. I mean, they really are quite solid, so that's uh, that's encouraging. Um, and again, the back, the rear bulkhead, that's all good. Um, pair done uh, there. I'll show you from the other side. You can see, um, just sort of along here, and then that that's quite difficult to make, that took, a, took an afternoon to do. It's slightly bulging out on that line there, so we may need to get some heat on that to shrink it back in, but that's uh, that's pretty good apart from that. Um, and again, all the um, all the uh, seams and everything along here, and all the, they're all good as well. I mean, there's I mean, you know, bits of slight bits of rust, but... And that's nothing. I mean, you know. So it, I've been very lucky here, I think, as well. Um, and again, down the boot. Um, this is all good as well. I mean, it's only you know, the bits of the spots you can you can see. They're the really only light surface. Um, the only bits to worry about really are a bit there. But I mean, that's not. Uh, what, what, I think, what I think what's happened there is someone, you know, for an MOT or whatever, has you know patched it from the other side. And uh, and it's painted um, on the other side and not this side, so it's just gone rusty this side. You know the heat from the weld has just burnt it off. But that's okay. Again, we we'll get the sandblaster on that. Um, possibly cut out bits if they need it, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, and again, you know all this I mean, it really is just surface. So the sandblaster will get that really nicely. Um, 
that's quite a bit there. That's where the um, cause the subframe bolts those two holes um, from those two holes there. So uh, they've had to under underneath. They've had to put uh, extra plates there. So obviously, you know, um, double plates. They've just sort of bubbled through with rust. But that's not going to get the sandblaster on that. That will probably be all right. Um, and yeah, I mean, all this is all good as well. You know, and again, bits of white surface. You know, but that's really not too bad. Um, and the boot lid as well. That was all. That's uh, where is that? Um, oh god, where did I put it? <laughs> there it is. Yeah, there it is. Um, that's all good as well. I mean, you know, tiny bits of white surface. Like again, the sandblaster should get that nicely. Um, I need a bit of a clear up there, but yeah. Um, and then on this side, obviously, all, again, all the seams are good. The wheel arches are good. The only, I guess the only bit that is slightly concerning is um, this bit just here. It is, I mean, I'll try to put some cure rust on it, but I mean, it's. I'm not sure whether to get rid of it or not, or keep it, but hopefully I'm going to sandblast it and see what happens. But I mean, as you can see from the other side, I mean, it's all good there. None of that's come through. So I think it'll be right. And uh, again, the same on the other side as well. That's, you know, that's all good there. But again, there, uh, it's just sort of starting to bubble through. But we'll see. We'll get the sandblaster on it and see what happens. Um, yeah. Right, this is the what was it, near side passenger door. Um, had a repair panel along the bottom there and filled and painted, but it's you know I've done a pretty good job and I'm pleased with that. Um, and then driver's door, I'll just move it out of the way. Driver's door as well needs uh, needs filling, but it's all uh, all done. Things here that you know just sort of repair panel at the bottom there, and also the uh, inner panel as well. Just move that. That's been done as you can see along there. But yeah I've made quite a neat job of that. I'm pleased with that. But, you know, shouldn't rust again. Obviously you've got to fill the bottom there with wax all so it really doesn't rust again. It's quite unwieldy that door. Um, new sill to go on, all uh, drilled, ready for plug welding. That'll be uh, that'll be when we've sandblasted the sills. Uh, what else? The bonnet, it's, uh, that was the old panel there, that was, uh, had it as you can see. So, I've got a new panel, just needs sort of, you know, welding on. That way, yeah, no. Anyway, yeah, that just needs welding on, that's fine, a couple of plug welds, that'll be alright. Um, but yeah, again, I'm, I'm pleased, I'm, you know, I'm happy, it shouldn't be too long until, until we get it painted. Alright, this is the rear subframe, and been quite unlucky here really it is in quite poor condition this um, as you can see the rust is quite substantially sort of there um, I'm gonna try sandblasting it see if I can get the worst off but to be honest it might be worth getting a new one the effort that's involved of sandblasting it and then welding in patches like there that'll need a patch there and it's quite you know thinning out there and, and again up there so it you know it really is quite bad um, but yeah, all the uh, trailing arms and the rubber cones and stuff, they're all good. These seem okay, these don't seem rusty at all, they seem... Well, that seems plastic, but yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right, for the roof, what I'm planning on doing is cutting out most of it, to be honest, cutting out most of it and fitting a large electric fabric folding sunroof uh, made by Waybasto, I believe. Um, we got it at a scrapyard off a of Citroen Saxo, I think. Yeah, um, for 20 quid, which is quite a bargain, really, considering they're about, well, more than 500 pounds, shall we say, new. So uh, that's, that was quite a bargain. So um, that will make it almost a convertible, almost. Um, but I, you know, if it, the thing about that is, then it, you know, you get the the room, you know, headroom and stuff like that. But then you don't lose any of the integral structure around the outside, uh, which is good because you know you don't need to brace the chassis or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty good. I'll go and uh, go and that's in the other, other garage. I'll go and show you that now. Well, as you can see, I need a bit of a tidy up in here, but yeah, that's not the point. Um, this is the Webasto sunroof that we've got. Uh, as you can see, we've left the bit around the uh, around the roof here, 
so uh, we can use that as a template. Um, yeah, it's got really jaggedy edges. The reason for that is because you're not allowed to use an angle grinder at a scrapyard because of uh, petrol and stuff like that. You know, they're worried it might ignite. So uh, what everyone uses, of course, is those uh, battery pa battery powered reciprocating saws. Uh, but I didn't have one of them, so this was done just with a, a bolster and a hammer, um, which took a long, long afternoon. But um, we've got it out, so it's fine. Uh, I'll show you the other side. Uh, there you go. So, uh, yeah, that's obviously just um, the uh, inside headlining. Um, the third, we've got a um, trim piece to go around here, which the and, and the um, Cars headlining just sort of tucks in there, and then with the thing goes on that, so it looks quite nice. Uh, I've seen other pictures and stuff online of it, and it, you know, it's, yeah. Um, this uh, switch there, I think I'll replace that for a nice shiny toggle one. Um, but yeah, uh, unfortunately, I didn't save the panel that went over this. Didn't think I'd need it, but uh, I think yeah, it turns out I do. So um, gonna have to make something. To replace that, but that shouldn't be too hard. Um, yeah, it's just sort of like a, a wind deflector, so that when you've got it open, it doesn't whistle. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased with that. I think that was an absolute bargain for 20 quid. It's in lovely condition. I have I have had it running. I've um, I've put a battery on the things and tested it, and it works fine. So that's good. Um, and it is the perfect size for a mini, so which is lucky. So um, all in all, a very good buy there. Oh, I'm back in this garage now, so um, yeah, that should sit nicely in there. Um, don't really want to muck it up too much. I'm going to be really quite careful when I cut that out, um, but it should be good. It should be fine. Um, anyway, yeah. So thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you next time.